In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create events and appointments from within Google Calendar. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. If you haven't watched our Google Calendar basics video where we cover everything that you need to know inside of Google Calendar, click or tap the icon in the top right of your screen or check out the link in the description box below. Creating events inside of your Google Calendar is super easy to do and this also enables you to boost your productivity as well as to know what you've got to do so that you don't double book or it's just useful to know what lesson you have next. To create an event, all you need to do is go up to create at the top left and then it will open up this box. From here, all you need to do is just title your meeting and then decide whether it's an event, reminder or task. Reminders and tasks aren't technically events, they're just more reminders to tell you to complete a certain activity or just to go somewhere. Underneath this, you decide the time and date of your event and whether it repeats or not. Next, what you want to do is you want to add guests if there are any. For example, if you're doing a group uh, video conferencing for remote learning or you're doing it for remote working, this is super useful. And to add guests, all you do is type in their email address. And as I mentioned a moment ago, if you're doing this as a form of virtual meeting or event, you want to click add Google Meet video conferencing code if you're using Google Meet, which I'd highly recommend since it's super practical to use. But if you're using something like Microsoft Teams, you can place this in the description section or the attachment section of your meeting. And the final thing we're going to cover in the basics of creating a meeting or event inside of Google Calendar is you can add a location. For example, what building is it going to be in? What, or what block in a school is it going to be in? Or even just where is the event being held? So those are the basics on how to create an event. But what are the more advanced options? To create a more advanced option, just go to more options at the bottom. And once you've clicked this, this page should show up. And from here, you have a little bit more customization on what type of event, the description, guests, and much more, which I'm going to go through now. So as we did last time, you can change the title of your event, what date, um, and what time it is to. But what you can also do inside of here, you can decide whether it's an all day event and if it repeats. And if it does repeat, you just click don't repeat, and then you can decide whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, annually, each weekday or you can have your own custom one. Next you've got the event details. As we've already covered you can add whether it's a Google Meet video conferencing which is great because you just click on this and what it will do is it will automatically send this code and participants just need to click on it and join. And again you can add your location and you can decide whether you send them a notification 30 minutes or whatever period of time before the event starts. Then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you can add the description. So here would be where you tell your group of people what the event is about, what you need them to bring or what you need them to prepare if necessary, or even if you're just using an external video conferencing app, for example Microsoft Teams, you could post a link in here. And finally, on the right hand side, you have guests. Guests, as you already know, we can already add in the previous screen. But if you go underneath this, you have guest permissions, which is uh, which you may or may not decide to change. So guest permissions are things like modify the event, as in, will, are they able to change any of this information, such as the description, notifications, location, and the time period whether you want them to have the ability to invite others. So basically, do you want this to be an enclosed thing which you have control over who you share it with? Or if you allow the members or guests inside of your event to share this as well. And finally, you have the see guests list. So this will basically mean in the email notification that is sent with this event, uh, with this ticked on, people will, allow to, uh, will be allowed to see the email addresses and the names of other people who are going possibly going or have been invited. And once you're done, make sure to click the blue save button at the top. So now, as you can see, my meeting has now been created. So that's how you create meetings and events using Google Calendar. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe since we've got a ton more content just like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.